Hey everyone and welcome to another Steam Next Fest video here on the channel. Make sure you are liking, commenting and subscribing and all that good stuff. And in today's one we're checking out a game called Tactical Breach Wizards. Um, and from what I can tell, it looks sort of like a, uh, a game that's similar to things like No Plan B, uh, Door Kickers, those sorts of games. But it have a bit of a magical twist on it um, with sort of a powerful abilities and stuff like that rather than being just straight up about tactical situations. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to this. I like a little game like this. Um... I did just boot it up just to make sure it ran, but I've not actually uh, played anything yet. So we're going to go straight in um, and we are going to go with... Yeah, we're just going to default difficulty. That's fine. The Jodassa Strait a few years ago. Uh, Wiztac, this is Mage Actual. We're in position. Breach glyphs are hot. Zan, you're up. Uh, trauma, control charms engaged. <laughs> uh... Okay, suppression aura online, S slow fall wards in place. All right, what do you see in there? Foresight on three spring acolytes, softwood silence Mac 10s. Want me to leave you one? Uh, okay, that's ballsy. Uh, if you're losing your touch, sure, I can pick up the slack. And breach. Okay, all right. I mean, that's what you're going to do. Uh, so what we've got here is so we've got one use per turn on moves. We've got three bolt bursts. Um, click to center of Venice or hold to view perks. Okay, so not much going on there right now. Um, 4C, your team has one action. See how your predicted actions play out before committing. That's kind of useful. Uh, but I guess in this instance, we can just take you out. Oh, he's shot him out the window. Okay, move there. Uh, gain a mana by using the laptop. And it opens up the door. Objectives completed. Click done to proceed. All right, let's go. Next room. All right, what's behind door number two? I see three more sprigs and an elder shrub land. <laughs> shrub lord, sorry, with an M4. Is it clear to you why we're hitting a druid mafia ship in the first place? They've got a high value target. They've got guns and they can do weird planty shit. That's all I need to know. You're not worried about the heat will draw if this goes south? Worried? I'm salivating. I'm considering fucking things up on purpose just to have an excuse to fight these fuckers properly. If they send their best guys for me, we could end a global crime empire overnight. There's something very badly wrong with you. That's fair. You don't care who we're extracting? Young adult male, that's all I need. What do you want? What do you want? Their dating profile. You can ask him if he likes long walks after we stop these shrubs from flaying him with a, back, a barrel cactus. I guess we're not going to find out loitering in doorways. You good for three of these guys? I'm good for four, but I'll let you feel useful. That's very nice. Breach! That was only two. I'm letting you blossom. Okay, right, so. Um, position info, so it wants me to move to the laptop first. Shoot the enemy that you can't take cover from. I'm assuming it means this one here. Out you go. And use the take cover ability or you'll be shot at the end of your turn. So does he not move then? He stays where he is. Perfect end turn to commit everything you've done. Okay. And now... Finish him off. And use the laptop. And we're done. Okay, so far so good. Alright, what's next? Two sprigs and a great oak in a ghillie suit. The great oak is wearing a ghillie suit? It is, yeah. Isn't it already a tree? Okay, I, I like the, uh, the writing style. They've gone for a bit of humour here. Look, I just say what I see. Let's get in there and kill it. Breach! Okay, alright. Use the laptop. Knock out all enemies. Oh, where did you come from? Were you there? Did I just not see you? There you go. Okay, 
In turn, to commit anything that you've done. All right, let's tell us what it is. So you are here in the action phase. Your team moves and shoots, and you can freely rewind. The 4C phase is where the enemies attack. If none have valid plans, we skip this phase. You can't take further actions, but you can still rewind. Enemy turn, the enemies move. Okay, they do move and make new plans. They do not yet attack, and you can no longer rewind. Oh, hello. Attack the Shrub Lord. Can't take him. Can you dodge this? You're the one with foresight. You tell me. Use the 4C button to find out whether Liv can dodge the shot. Uh, that's a negative. Right, so here we go. So now we go back. Move close enough to the Shrub Lord that he targets you instead. Ah. Okay. So now if we do 4C. So he hits us for one. But then she kills him. Okay. We can commit that. And we're done. Intel, oh look, there's the hostage. Alright, Intel said this is where they're holding the asset. You see him? Yeah, they've got him bound and bagged. Don't you feel something weird coming from him? No, but then I can't see in the future. I can only move infinitely fast. Maybe I'll feel it for all of zero seconds. I'm clearing the room and extracting him unharmed. Don't rush this one, Liv. There's a wild card in that room. I'm a chroma man, Suzanne. I'm just saying, if something goes south, you know your orders. The asset is a priority. If you have to blink him out of here yourself, you do it. Liv, did you just admit that you could fail? Are you okay? I'm just indulging your insecurity, Zan. Stop clutching your crystals. You gonna breach this year? In we go. One gone. Two dead. Holy fuck, what is that? And what is it doing to... to our friend? You only time to deal with one threat. Try saving Liv and see if they shoot the hostage. Try saving the hostage and see if Liv can save herself. Right, so, okay, so if we go... there, for example. And we shoot this guy out of there. Then Liv is saved. But the hostage is dead. Tell me you saved the asset. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a negatory. Okay. So now, we shoot you. What happens to Liv? Um, okay. And she disappears. So we can't save them both. But it does say the hostage must survive, the hostage is safe and end your turn. Okay, well, I guess that's that then, isn't it? Move next to the hostage and use blink to extract them. Best gets always attack, requesting immediate blink out. I have the essence, but something got Kennedy. There we go. Okay. Breach Wizards. Don't tell me that's the end of the demo already. Surely it's got more in, more in it than that. Rashwater PD. The DSR. Now-ish. <laughs> so let me get this straight. A notorious druid mafia enforcer gets shot by a doctor. And the first person on the scene just happens to be the meddling witch every cop loves to hate. Jen Kellen, P.I. That's me. Did you have a question? What is it going to take you to stop inserting yourself into every missing persons case that we investigate? <laughs> I mean, you could try finding the people. Well, I'm sorry if solid police work sometimes takes a little longer than your witch's tricks, but we have procedures for a reason. People don't hire me when you're slow. They hire me when you've given up. From what I hear, people don't hire you much at all these days. Wow. Okay. Look, let me fail at my own pace. <laughs> all right. So you hear a shot. You burst in with these breaching glyphs and you find Wexler already dead. Describe the shooter. White-haired woman, good-looking, smartly dressed except for the surgical gloves. And a gun. No, she'd put the gun down. And you went for it, even with all your spells and trinkets. I try not to throw lightning at unarmed strangers. And what happened? 
I got to it first. She seemed to reevaluate her situation at that point, and she ran. And then you guys show up with the fucking traffic warlock. He sighs. And what's your problem with Sergeant Clark? He made me kneel, even though I'd already dropped the gun. He picked it up without gloves. He tracked... He tracked mud all over the scene, and he put a two-week stasis curse on my car. It's going to cost me more to get that disenchantment. Sorry, it's going to cost me more to get that disenchanted than I got paid for this whole job. Lucky for you, we've backed up, and it's not worth the time to prosecute you for any of this. Prosecute me? But next time you call us, stay put, stay out, and leave your wand at home. Can you unhex my car, please? I'm not insured for temporal curses. You'll have to take that up with craft and arcana control. Did you get her? We have something matching that... Someone matching that description in custody, yes. Can I talk to her? Can you talk to the prime suspect in a murder kid investigation? No, Kellen, you can't. You're a PI, a provisional PI. Get out of here. Fine. You're welcome, by the way. Unbelievable. I like the writing in this. It's very good. Hey, did you know your station's on fire? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? I don't know who you are. Oh. You're not Zan Veska, Navy Seer. No, my name's Jen. Is Zan here? I don't think so. I haven't seen him in years. Ah, well. Prepare to burn. Oh, no thanks. <laughs> uh, Defenstrate the Pyromancer. Defenstrate. What the fuck does Defenstrate mean? Oh, de uh, Defenstrate verb one. Throw out of window. Right, okay. So how far does this move? So a blast of electrical energy that pushes the enemy but does no direct damage. Uh, but it knocks them back two spaces, I'm assuming that means. They hit a wall, remaining knockback is taken as damage. Knockback damage ignores armor. Well, that's cool. But in which case... Out you go. I don't know how high up we are, but that looked like a long way down. Well, that was easy. I got efficient. Ah, here we go. This is uh, Zan. Zan, I was just talking about you. Jen, what are you doing here? Solving a murder. How about you? Being arrested for... Um, r remind me? It's a list at this point. They think I'm part of the team raiding the station. I serve with Zan, guys. I'll vouch for him. No one cares. You'll remember what it means if I give you the signal, right? One second on the clock, I remember. That's enough. On your knees. Now. So, save Zan this time. Read the description for your chain bolt ability, and you do take out the two officers behind Zan, okay? Chain a bolt through multiple targets, knocking each in a different direction. Target the enemy you want in an order you want to hit them. The bolt will follow the path shown, knocking each target back in the direction it hits them. Okay. So, you'll go that way, because the lightning bolt from Jen is going that way. And then the lightning bolt goes this way and knocks that guy out of that window. Oh, look at that. Poetry in motion. One of those guys kind of had it coming. And the others? Uh, I didn't know them, but they'll be fine. I cast slow fall wards on the windows. Okay, out we go. Zone 2 out of 6 clear. So, how have you been? Terrible, thanks. <laughs> how about you? What have you been up to? The team casting its way through the station right now is led by my former CEO, Liv Kennedy. She might be the most dangerous person on the planet. I think she's trying to start a war and it might be my fault. So, stopping that. <laughs> Do you get medical with that? No, and it's becoming an issue. Listen, these guys didn't like me much before I demonstrated two of their colleagues, so we should probably get out of this building in the next four minutes if we don't want to stay here for 25 to life. What are we going to see when we open this? One cop, body armor, nightstick. Enforcer, they're tough. I suggest we try and put them, put him through a window. You can't throw all of life's problems through windows, Jen. <laughs> but I do want to try throwing this problem through a window, though. Yeah, it actually might be the right call here. I have to come at him from the side to set you up. Take him when you have the shot. Ready? Breach. So we're setting up the shot here. So the window is there. 
Um, you can reposition wizards at the start of a level. Use the redeploy ability to move Zan to breach the position of the other door. Okay, redeploy. And breach. Uh, will this knock him back? It does knock him back. Okay, nice. And now we use that to throw him out. Okay, lovely old job. On to the next level. All right, so what does your former CEO have against Rushwater PD? I don't know. It was the fire guy I ran into earlier. He asked after you, by the way. Oh, really? That's nice. No, I don't know who that is. Right, maybe we'll uh, stick to live. What's our overall objective? I don't know. Who is she working for? Reactor. Great, and what's their objective? I don't know. <laughs> How long have you been, been on this investigation? Three months. You need someone with investigative skills. Someone whose career is a temporary dry spell despite her obvious talent. Hey, I'm hiring if you're interested. What does it pay? Nothing, I'm broke. That's actually very competitive with what I'm earning right now. I'll take a look at your files. Files? Right. Zan, I'll make some. Never mind, what's up next? Another enforcer and bad news, no windows. Well, that rules out every strategy that I know. See, it's not a comprehensive life plan. Don't worry, I've got this. I can set up a shot that will knock him flat if he comes my way. Why don't you just do that all the time? It's a time thing. You've got to set it up in an empty space and hope they walk into it. Why? It's an amethyst jacketed time crystal. It exists in all places along its trajectory simultaneously. So when you touch it, it's like getting shot in the past, present, future, and a fourth time phase mortals can't perceive. And that makes you fall down. <laughs> that sounded cool, but didn't mean meaningfully explain anything. That's fair. Breach, let's go. It's a very clever, uh, clever writing here. Right, okay. So we've got a predictive bolt, um, which aims a powerful trap for an enemy to walk into. Okay, so what we're saying here is that he will, he will shoot along there. Can we move? Okay, we can. So we can move Jen here, and then we push him back into the blast. There we go, and he fires, and he's deaded. Heads up, reinforcements. We should put a ward on that door. Right, okay, so we've now got to get rid of this guy. So, I'm assuming we can't just go there and put the predictive bolt on him. He has to come into the blast. So the only way we can do that is to get him to come forward. So if we put Zan there, have a... Predictive bolt going that way. Jen goes around here and knocks him in there. Okay. And then it said about sealing a door is freeing gains a mana. You don't need to seal doors that have no enemies left. I'm assuming the two means there's two enemies yet to come through. Seal the door for a mana. And we're good and done. What's the plan this time? I don't know. Improvise. Inspiring. Right, we've got three people here. Use the laptop to open the security door. What's this guy doing? Instantly shoots the first person to cross the line of fire, which is those symbols on the ground there. Um, so, how then... We do this all in one in one sweep, do we think? So you can't breach there because he's gonna instantly kill you. Well you can breach, but you just can't go in. What about if we did it the other way around? You breach. 
Y... Oh, no, hang on a second, no. Restart that image, it was the right way around. Okay, so... Breach. Breach and breach. I want to see, I want to know if it's possible to do this all in one go. What's going to, what's going to happen? So you're just going to take this shot, no one else is going to move. Yeah, I don't think we can't, I don't think we can do this in one go, you know. Maybe, maybe we can. Maybe we can. Right. Okay. I think I've got it. So if you do predictive bolt there, what we've got to do is if you come in, so he's going to come in and attack. He's going to come. He's going to step forward and attack if I do this. So you come in and go there. He's now going to come forward. He's going to come and try and attack. We might, in theory, we have to take those two out with the chain bolt. Yes. And now, in theory, you're going to run forward and get blown. Yes! All right, this is it. The way out. Uh, it's on the way to the way out. Wait, you haven't been leading us out this whole time? You haven't been following me, have you? I don't know where I'm going. I've been leading us to this one little thing I need to do before we can leave. You know we're in a police station where both of us are resisting arrest while it's simultaneously being raided by a team of Black Ops wizards, one of whom can transcend time. I didn't know about the transcend time thing, but the rest of that was on my radar, yep. <coughs> so where are we headed? This office leads to the holding cells. There's someone there I need to talk to. You're working a case now? Look, I've been calling myself a PI for a year now, and I've had a grand total of three cases in the last two months, and two of them couldn't pay. Jiren Wexler was the last one on my docket, maybe ever, and today I found him ten seconds after he was shot in the head by a doctor. Continue ranting vaguely where you might be oversharing, but unable to rein it in at this point. I'm too late to save him, and I'm too late to get paid. But I got one last chance to find out why he died, before what we just did makes me a fugitive or a prisoner. And if I don't take it, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm sorry, Jen. For a second, I forgot what it cost you to save me back there. I won't forget again. I mean, I already did. Inside of an hour. Yeah, so my track record isn't great so far, but I'll try. Whatever you need, I've got your back. A mess. Are you ready? No, but that's not going to change. Breach! <coughs> <coughs> okay. So we've quite a lot of people in here. This is definitely a not not a uh, a one-off attempt here. So if I do that, are they gonna no they're not, okay. But they are gonna shoot me on the next turn. So you can come in here and we'll do we'll do that. You were supposed to fire. Okay, that's kind of annoying. However, you have now perfectly positioned yourself. To be blasted out the window. Uh, okay, let's stay there for the moment. 
get all our turns back. More people coming through the doors, which isn't particularly ideal. You don't have any mana, so you need to try and get round get round there. Let's position ourselves for the next turn. That's all bad guys now through. Take cover. kill him and we haven't done this very well at all because there's not even any cover to use here I might restart this one let's restart this one right okay I can maybe maybe put you over here you dealt with. Uh, actually, I've just realised. So you're going to have to come running in here and then take cover. You can come over here and do three belt burst on you and get rid do a predictive bolt just in case anyone happens to come across there. Right. We're going to do this. Gonna static blast you out of the window. Then you're going to take cover. Gets rid of you. You will kill whoever comes through that doorway next. Right, this is a bit better. Bosh. Seal the door. And uh, you can't use... Kill you. And then kill you. There's the laptop. Jobs are good and done. Probably not the most efficient in terms of number of turns but we didn't take any damage or anything like that rushwater pd holding cells hi me again don't know if you heard but this station is currently being raided by a spec ops team one of whom who can transcend time right and much of it is on fire if you tell me why you shot wexler i can get you out of here even more uh, sorry i can get you out of here before even more of it is on fire how well, obviously, I'd go through the appropriate legal channels, but with the right lawyer, it could be in under six months. And if I don't satisfy your curiosity, you'll leave me here to die. Class E. Fine. Oh, okay. I was about to uh, talk some further smack. Maybe being sarcastic wasn't the right approach there. The hell just happened? I think you just met Liv Kennedy. I didn't love it. <laughs> okay, everyone appears to be in like stasis bubbles. Avoid any long term consequences. Um... <laughs> okay, I'm a lot more interested in your case now. Who is Banks and why did the best spec ops team on the planet just assault a police station to abduct her? Dessa Banks. I got a glimpse of her on the police file. They have her pegged as a mob doc for the Druid Mafia. When I found her, she just shot her patient in the head with a 45. If she's not mob, she definitely missed a pivotal day in medical school. <laughs> so, why, so why would Liv Kennedy want her? Was she an especially good doctor? I guess it's possible she's a great doctor, and shooting her patient in the head before surgery was just the kind of power move. Your turn. What's the story with you and Liv? We ran an extraction on a Druid Mafia smuggling ship back in 89. She got snared just as we were about to execute the hostage. I had to choose. I chose the hostage. For years, I thought I got her killed. Then six months ago, she resurfaces. 
pulling brutal heist for a PMC. I don't know what she's trying to achieve, but I know I failed her back in 89. If there's some way I can talk her down from this, I have to try. Who is she? She was my commander in the Navy Special Forces. She's a chromomancer. She can move on a different time scale to the rest of us. You're dead before you even know she's coming for you. That seems overpowered. I served with her for five years on some nightmare clusterfucks, and I think Liv may be the most dangerous single combatant on this planet. Everyone who saw her work said it sooner or later. I'm glad she's on our side. Well, now she's not. Now she works for a reactor. Reactor or private military, right? Who's hiring them this time? Private but huge. The ninth strongest military in the world, last I heard. If you'd asked me yesterday, I would have said they are DSR military by another name. But if they're sending Liv Kennedy to kill cops on DSR soil, something massive has changed and I have no idea why. If she's gone off book, all we're looking at is a god-tier operative becoming a serial killer with an unknown agenda. And if not, if today was a reactor authorised op, this could light the fuse for World War V. The whole geopolitical landscape of the Southern Hemisphere is going to lurch in ways I can't even predict. And I'm a seer. Okay, we do need to make some files. I have a map. We can work with that. Okay, so now look, ooh, we get to spend some uh, some perk points. They've both got one to spend. So for Jen, so we can add another target onto the chain bolt. Um, or we can add two more knockback if used at point blank range. I think having a uh, oh, two, plus two knockback to the final target. I think having an extra chain target would be quite useful. Uh, and for Zan... The predictive bow. If the shot fires on your turn, gain a mana. If the shot knocks somebody out, it can be used again this turn. Or we add a damage to the three bolt burst. Um, it's either that one or that one, I think, isn't it? I think the damage. Because that's going to be his bread and butter. We're going to need that. Because the, the predictive bolt is very, very good, but only in very certain situations. Confidence goals. What the hell is a confidence goal? This is your safe house. It's cute. Well, it's my mom's place. She's a bingo. <laughs> All right. Well, here's what we need. Your map, a printer, some thumbtacks, and like 40 meters of red string. She might be the only person I know who has that combination of items just lying around. I like her already. Let's get to it. So how does this work? You drag strings between us to prove we're friends? <laughs> okay. So, oh, hang on. So we drag from there. There we go. Old friends. Served under Liv Kennedy, who led the strike on the Rushwater PD. Abducted Dessa Banks. And Reactor employs Liv Kennedy, right? That's all, all good. Hey, that all makes sense to me. No rush if you want to rearrange or go over the details, though. I think that's... I don't think we... I think we've kind of got most of the information already, haven't we? So let's get straight into the next mission. Okay, so we have no idea why Liv took Banks. At this point, I'd settle for where she took Banks. Oh, I can answer that. Seriously? Give me six new bones and a vial of her blood, and I can scry her location to within three meters. Okay, you... Bones sounds doable. Yeah, I've got an arrangement with the pet shop downtown. But how do we get hold of her blood? The cops would have taken it when they booked her. Part of standard DNA log. It'll be at the evidence lock up in Stonecliff. And is that guarded? Heavily. But I know a guy who owes me. I helped him find his sh skink last June. As long as they haven't heard about the clusterfuck at Rushwater yet, I bet I can just ask him. What do we think? Have they heard? Jen, I think they heard about the rush water thing. Now they get efficient. Okay, right. Confidence goals. These are optional extra goals that boost a wizard's confidence. As in life, confidence is only needed to wear more daring outfits. Try the, try, uh, try for them, but don't stress it. You can always come back and get them later with any new perks that you've unlocked. They vary each level. Mouse over them to find out what they are this time. Okay, so we've got... Zan is finished with all team members at full health, so don't get shot. And Jen is through two hostiles out of a window with a gale grenade. What is a gale grenade? 
knocks back knocks back all adjacent targets use one per battle so for example don't think they're oh, I might be able to do it if I did that that could work but I've got to get there first so I think we need to chain you chain you and chain you Oh, okay, we can't. In which case... Fuck you. Move there. Grab Intel. And take cover. Three bolt but blast you. Get over there. And take cover. Okay. Oh, what? He's firing grenades at me! Okay, no, I think... The opportunity here for get for um for getting these two out the window is is there for the taking. So if I was to go there, for example, can we gale grenade them? Yeah, so you can do that there. So the only trouble is is that by doing that and getting them out of the window now we are not going to be able to stop her from getting hit. Oh, we can. We can do it from there. Okay, so we do we do that. That completes Jen's confidence objective. You need to come over here. And we can grab the intel. Three bolt blast and take cover. And you need to take cover as well. Okay, right, so from here on out, this is just about now from the confidence point of view for Zan, don't get hit. So, hang on, if, if you go, say, there. It can't because the lightning can't travel through the wall. Okay, that's fine. Rewind again. So you can go there. You can chain these two together. How do, what? How are they not dead? It doesn't actually do any damage. Interesting. Okay. So you're the only one then. All of her attacks don't actually do any damage. They're just all about knockback. Okay, let's start this again for a second. You do that. Take cover. Get rid of you. Take cover again. I should do it. Doesn't. I can finish you off with that. And then you can go to the door and seal that shit up. Okay. I think we did both confidence objectives there. We did indeed. Alright, what are we looking for? A blue folder. Her blood's in a blue folder. No, but her fire will tell us where they're storing it. Okay, so just grab every blue file I see. Yep, unless your time brain lets you read them instantly or something. I can do one second of reading, one second sooner than I otherwise would. That doesn't sound like it's going to do it. No. Breach. Oh, okay, right, we've got a number of enemies coming in here. And two doors at either end. No, they're all they're all ranged though as well, aren't they? Just looking at this. Right, you go there. Get rid of get rid of him. Grab the incel. Right. 
let a single teammate perform two actions in one turn. Ah, we have a time boost ability. Give them an extra thing, okay. Deal with all enemies by the end of turn. What? By the end, so there's a way in which we can do this by clearing every single enemy out by the end of turn one. But the only way this works Can't do them that quick, that far away. Can I chain bolt? Okay, so if we move in here, I chain bolt you, then you, then you. That's all three of them dead. Not entirely sure. Ah, uh, and wait, we can use the time boost, can't we? Okay. So where does she need to be placed? And I can do that. Because she can only move once. I think it's action. These are actions, whereas this is just a one use per turn. So where does she need to go? She probably needs to redeploy to this door, doesn't she? Going from that side. Can't get further out, which is quite irritating. Um... If we move there, what, who can you hit from there? One, two. So you can hit all three from that side, but you can't do it if you're at this end of the... Uh... Answer here. So if you go there, chain bolt. What? No, because it's chaining in the wrong way. It needs to go. It it needs to be. He's hidden, isn't he? That's why. It's because they're crouched. Um, where do you need to go to do this? <laughs> okay, right. Start again. So who can you take out? I think Jen is going to take out this guy last. Okay, if we chain it that way, I guess we have all three of them. If you come in... Three bolt him. 
Okay, you need to come just back a little bit like that so that you can still see Jen. Three bolt burst you. Give you an extra turn. Then static blast you into there. There we go. Fucking banging. It was possible. Predictive bolt that way because we're going to have people coming through the door. Seal that, seal that door off. Do that. Throw you against there. That's fine. Then go over there. Seal the door. Now we seal the door. We can just go around. Grab all the intel that we need to. That's kind of cool. So once you clear that, everybody, you just you've got free movement to just sweep up and get everything that you need to. That was uh, that was very efficient. It took us a while to get there to work it all out, but we got there in the end. Where are you going? Both of these overpasses lead to the next building. We can do it in tandem. Okay, but you get uh, but you get shot the moment you walk through that door. Oh, good note. Let me breach first. I can take care of it from my side. Uh, right. Cause predictive bolt to fire before the 4C phase. Gen, uh, definitely three hostiles in one turn. We've got to try and push three of these guys out in one turn. Um... Interesting. How are we going to get three of these buggers out in one turn? Because is there any windows up here? There's, there is a window there. You think it's going to be these guys, right? It's going to be these guys that are the ones you get uh, you get hit hard. Okay. I wonder if we get line of sight across. So I'm thinking we rotate those around. New breach. You're going to need to breach and get, in. get rid of this guy. We, oh, we, so you can predict bolt across. The problem is, is we can't predict bolt across and just leave him there because he's that laptop there is going to open that, I think. Which might mean actually we need to rotate them around back to the other way again. So in theory then, if you go in and do that, instant death. And that causes the predicted bolt to fire before the 4C phase. So now, how on earth do we get three of these guys to uh, to bugger off in one turn? I'm assuming it doesn't have to be Jen that does it. I'm assuming that as a team we can effectively achieve the same goal. Can't wait. Might as well static glass him while we're here. And then when he runs across, he gets taken out. So it's gonna have to be two people from this side who uh, are let go out the window. 
and one from that side. Could this be a job for the chain bolt? Is he going to go out? In fact, it's cha uh, chain bolt. So you're going to go out left, aren't you? Um. Move or use the move per turn. Okay, we did that. Oh, okay. Oh, I think we can do that. So that's two out. Can I give that to her to? Oh, I can. Static, you can static blast him straight out. Yes, there we go. We've done all three. Oh, actually, just rewind for a sec. Go there. Get the uh, get the intel. Knock out all enemies. Just three left. predictive bolt that way for anything that tries to come through that door. You use the laptop and you seal the door. Oh god what a team! Zone 3 of 3 is done. I really like this game. This is really really cool. I love the writing, I love the scripting and the humour. And there is actually quite an intriguing story underlying this. And the gameplay itself is quite fun as well. <coughs> Has that cool puzzle nature. I found Banks. She was between Jabba and Hiddlesbottom, logically. We've all found ourselves there. This says her blood samples in Fridge 5, room 304. So one floor up. Great, let's go. You brought me the new bones? I don't leave the house without 6 to 20 new bones. Okay, so where is she? She is... About 100 meters east. Did you perform the spell 100 times too small? Nope, she's in the next building. And what's that? Controlled substances, I think. Why would they break her out of one police station just to take her to another? I don't know. Want to go find out? After I realign some time crystals, yes. Steve, you sure... <laughs> Steve, you're sure this is every gram of blue you have? Yep, every seizure in the DSR ends up here. All right, Bori, light it up. Oh, look, he's at the window. <laughs> All will burn in very mild fire. It is not mild fire. That's a total misnomer. Misnomer? Misnomer. Uh, I should have uh, not... I should not have to take this from a traffic cop. I'm a traffic warlock, and you're a failed arsonist. I'd like to see you untangle the M6 Spaghetti Junction with some lukewarm flames. Lukewarm? Much as I'd love to hear you with this clash of the intellectual titans goes, we have a ride to catch. Steve, stick around and make sure your cop powers don't put this out. Borai, bring Banks. Well, that exchange raised a lot more questions than it answered. Is Liv Team's burning manor? Why? He sniffs. Not for the smell, I'm guessing. Why do Rushwater PD even have this much mana? The street value of this must be billions. They're supposed to destroy it all at the end of every month. Maybe Defence told them to. I've heard of state stockpiling it at the QT. No one has military use for it yet. 
but they're all scared someone's going to find one. That was the fire guy I was telling you about. Ah, oh, right, I do remember him now. So when I said fire guy earlier, you didn't think of the guy, you know, who's permanently on fire? You meet a lot of colourful characters in this line of work. Aren't you unemployed? That's what I mean. So who is he? Borai Kesh, the less lethal pyromancer. Uh, how does that work? I think his flames are quite hot, but not like fire hot, you know? Like you can't go about your day, but it's more of an aloe vera situation than an impromptu cremation. <laughs> an aloe vera situation. You look like you want to ask something. Who's the guy in the day glow robe? Oh, that's Steve. Steve Clark, traffic warlock. I keep running into him on in my cases and I always forget what a slurry prick he truly is. Wow, Jen. Oh, he heard. Shit. Louder. Get fucked, Steve! Can we take him? How good are you at dodging spectral cars filled with skeleton ghosts? I never made it past the regionals. <laughs> Let's see if that cuts it. Oh, God. Some fucking great lines in this. Right. Okay, so... I'm assuming the red is where we don't crush our sense for a spectral motorcade of ghost riders that hits everyone in the red zone, then returns to the underworld, pending traffic conditions on the seventh <laughs> circle junction. Right, okay, so we've got that. We've also got three doors with which people are going to be entering from. So, uh, you're going to go... You're going to go here. You're going to grab the incel and do predictive bolt up there just to kill whoever comes through that door. You, on the other hand, will come in this way. I don't think a static blasting is going to do much because there's nothing behind you. Uh, so you can just take cover, I guess. Oh my good lord. Well, it didn't hit us. That person's dead. And now instantly you're going down that way, are you? Right, okay, so now we need to... Uh, Get ourselves very quickly out of the way of that. Actually, can you... Yes, you can go there, can't you? You can go and grab. Uh... Yeah, whatever, you can grab the intel for that. Sort that shit out. Irritatingly. Not going to do much about anything else. More people coming in. So, okay, so this is really important then with the chain bolt because obviously it's it's pushing them in the direction that you hit them with. So if I hit this guy first and then that guy, I kill them both. Whereas if I hit that guy first, it does nothing. So if I go like that and like that, I take them both out. And then I can also hit you and hit you for a couple of damage as well. So grab incel. While you're there, seal the door, please. You can do predictive bolt up that way to uh, kill whoever comes out of that door, and that'll be the end of the reinforcements through door number one over there. Accept the outcome. 